The movie begins in the future where we see all defective people driven away from normal society. They are forced to move out of the city and here, we meet a girl called Orlin who is being tattooed with a number behind her ear. She is now considered a bad batch and she has no choice and she is taken to the border of the country and told to leave. She pulls out a flyer of a city called Comfort where defects like her go to live. She sees a broken down car and jumps in. While she is fixing her face, she sees a car approaching in the distance and gets worried. When the car gets closer, she quickly makes a run for it but she is easily caught. When she finally wakes up, she finds herself tied up lying on the ground. She freaks out and doesn't know where she is. She tries to free herself but then one of the kidnappers comes over and injects her with something. We then see the lady pick up a saw and turns up the music very loudly. As she makes her way over to her, Orlin knows that something bad is about to happen. A few hours later, she wakes up and to her horror, her arm and leg has been amputated. That's when we learn that the girl was taken by cannibals who feasted on her limbs. Orlin is absolutely distraught and can't believe what they have done to her. We then see a group of men and women who are very muscular and working out in the open. The cannibals need a lot of protein to maintain their bodies. Next, we meet someone called Miami Man who runs the whole operation. He sips cola while inspecting all the people that they have captured. There are loads of people lying around without their limbs. We then see Orlin waking up and she hears someone screaming but is unable to do anything to help. The next day, the cannibals arrive and they notice that Orlin tried to escape in the night and hurt herself. They unchain her and drag her through the sand. When the cannibal woman goes to get some water, Orlin finds a metal rod and quickly conceals it. The woman then returns and begins cleaning up her wounds. Orlin quickly sees her chance and lashes out at the woman. Another prisoner without his legs watches on with interest. Orlin then desperately crawls on the floor and she finds a skateboard and quickly gets on it. She then rolls across the scorching desert until finally, she passes out in the heat. We then see black ravens appear all around ready to eat her. Just then, a man appears and he picks her up on his trolley and takes her to the city. They make it through the gates to Comfort City and they are surrounded by all the people there. They all stare at her and can't believe what has happened to her. In the next scene, five months have passed by and we see Orlin trying to live a normal life. She has a prosthetic leg fitted and can walk again. She sees a man walking around shouting and she tries to find out what he is saying. Next, we see Miami man painting a picture of his young daughter. We then see him going outside where he sees a woman with one arm missing who begs him to end her suffering. He does as she asks and we see him later feeding his daughter with little pieces of human meat. The lady Maria who is living with them doesn't seem to approve. The next day, Maria and the young daughter make their way through the dilapidated city and go looking for anything valuable. As Maria climbs over some rubbish, she falls and ends up injuring herself. Meanwhile, we see Orlin walking through the desert with a revolver and practicing shooting at some ravens. As she walks round, she thinks she sees someone in the distance and slowly makes her way over. When she gets near, she sees the lady laying on the floor with the young girl next to her. Orlin realizes that the woman is from the cannibal tribe, in a fit of rage, she kills the woman for what they did to her. The young girl is saddened by the death and just sits there next to Maria without saying anything. A man in the distance who is looking through rubbish, sees Orlin with a gun in her hand with the young girl following behind her. When Orlin gets back to the city, she sees the girl who has followed her home. She buys her a rabbit from the market and takes her home with her. Orlin tries talking to the young girl but she doesn't say a word, she just sits there stroking the rabbit. Sometime later, we see Miami man on his bike looking for his daughter. He becomes worried when Maria and her have not returned. When he gets to Rubbish Yard, he is horrified to find Maria's lifeless body which is already being eaten away by ravens. His daughter is nowhere to be seen and he is clearly distraught. Soon, he sees a man walking around and shows him a drawing of his daughter and asks if he has seen her. The man is unable to speak but strangely, he tells him that if he draws a picture of him, he will tell him what he needs to know. Miami man draws him and hands it over to him. The man then writes down find comfort and goes on his way. Back at Orlin's house, the little girl paints her face and they seem to be getting close. Later in the evening, there is a show in the city where a DJ plays music and everyone's seen having a good time. Next, we see a spiritual leader appear on stage telling the crowd that they need to think about their existence in this life and follow their dreams. 
As part of the show, they are all given pills which affect their minds in different ways. While everyone is enjoying the party, the little girl accidentally drops the rabbit and it runs off. While searching for it, she comes across the man called Dream and his pregnant assistant who find it. We then see them taking the young with them somewhere. Meanwhile Orlin realizes that the girl is missing but the pills have taken over her mind and put her in a trance. Her inner voice starts speaking to her and she goes for a walk and stares up at the sky while hallucinating. While she looks on, we see someone approaching her from behind and as he comes closer, we see that it is Miami man. The next morning when she wakes up, she finds herself in the desert with her prosthetic leg missing. When she looks up, she sees Miami man standing with it in his hand. Orlin realizes she is in the middle of nowhere and that her life is in trouble. The man shows her a picture of his daughter and demands to know where she is. When she tells him that she lost her, he tells her she has to find her otherwise he will kill her. She tells him that she will and they make their way back to the city together. On the way, they see a cannibal who approaches them who offers Miami man some gasoline in exchange for Orlin. Miami man thinks about it and agrees much to Orlin's horror. The cannibal picks her up and takes her back to his bike as she screams out. Suddenly, Miami throws a knife from behind catching the man in the back. We then see him cutting off his hand and taking it with him for a snack later. Later they have to take cover as there is sandstorm and Miami man starts a fire and cooks the human hand. We then see him wolfing it down as Orlin looks on. Miami man tells her that he is from another country and when the authorities found out that he had no paperwork, he was considered a defect and driven out of the city. They talk for a while and Orlin shows an interest in him. Suddenly there is a loud noise and men who patrol the outskirts of the city protecting people from cannibals turn up. They rescue Orlin and shoot Miami man. Later, we see that Orlin has been taken back home, for some reason she can't stop thinking about Miami man. When she goes outside to clear her head, she finds a notepad full of drawings. Back in the desert, Miami man is found injured lying on the ground. A man finds him and stops the ravens eating him alive. He then tends to his wounds and takes him to a cave to take care of him. Over the next few days the man feeds him and gets him back on his feet. Next, Orlin looks at the drawings and finds a picture of Miami man's daughter. She decides she wants to help him and takes copies of the drawing. She then goes around town asking people if they have seen the little girl. A few days pass and she has no luck finding her. One day as she is about to give up, she sits down and suddenly, she sees the little girl holding a rabbit walking with a pregnant woman. This is where we learn the little girl now lives with Dream in his mansion. She is well cared for and looked after. She has everything a little girl could want. Orlin then follows them home and knocks on the door. Meanwhile, Miami man has recovered and is taken to the outskirts of the desert where there is a bike waiting for him. He gives the man an ornament as a thank you for taking care of him. Back at Dream's mansion, Orlin finds that the place is guarded by heavily pregnant women and gets talking to Dream. He shows her the pills he gives his worshippers and tells her that they are the only thing that bring comfort to the city. He runs and controls the city by drugs. He asks her to join his harem, he wants to have a Dream inside her just like all the other women there. She finally agrees and she is lead to a room to prepare herself. This is where we learn that Orlin has a gun hidden in her prosthetic leg. When she hears a knock on the door, she makes her way over and holds the gun to the lady's stomach. She is then taken to Dream and she demands the little girl is let free otherwise she will kill the woman. Dream brings the girl over to her and tells her to look after the rabbit. They cautiously make their way out of the grounds and take one of the pregnant women with them. They manage to slowly make their way out and when they are at a safe distance, Orlin releases the pregnant woman. As they drive on, they see someone in the distance approaching. To the little girl's delight, it is her father. The father is overwhelmed at seeing his daughter still alive and embraces her tightly. Orlin then asks Miami man if she can stay with them. He tells her she should return to the city as the desert can be a very dangerous place and she will not survive here. She tells him that she knows that and is still willing to stay. We then see the little girl asking for spaghetti, as she had grown accustomed to good things in the mansion. Miami man takes his daughter's pet rabbit and tells Orlin to cover the girl's eyes. Later the three of them sit by a fire and eat it while Miami man rubs his teary daughter's back. In the last scene, we see him looking into Orlin's eyes and smiling and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. 
If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.